All right, so PlayStation Update 3.5 is available and you can now stream your PlayStation games on your laptop or your PC like Void Prime. So what you need is the PlayStation controller connected to your PC or laptop. You need the PlayStation software, which we have a link down below and your PlayStation needs to be on. So once you have all that, you're good to go. So once you install the software, again, we'll have the link for you below. Um, it allow, asks you to sign into your PlayStation account. Once you do that, uh, it will start looking for your PlayStation. Now, the software works anywhere. So it works at home and also if you're on the road and we'll showcase actually that functionality in a section, second. But make sure your PlayStation 4 is tied to your account. As long as that's there, it will find your PlayStation, test the network, and you will be good to go. Um, it, takes a, it takes quite a bit so far for now. Now, the interface itself is not fully robust, as you see. Uh, but it gives you access to your PlayStation. You can see some controls at the bottom for option and play. Uh, you can actually expand that view out and you have your PlayStation desktop or at least your, your home, home screen. Navigate, you can access uh, almost everything on there. Um, you know, your notifications, go through your different applications, Spotify, all your games. Now, you guys probably noticed I don't play much on my PlayStation. Uh, for so uh, the only game I've played the most is Rocket League and I just want to give you a look of how at least some gaming will look like uh, Now it streams at 720p sometimes it drives drops down to 540 But it's been lag free so far. I've used it today um, I haven't had an issue in terms of connectivity and also slowdowns or lag and I've kind of looked at my PlayStation on my TV It looks like it's one almost one-to-one -one, uh, pretty much, but I'm just gonna do a quick exhibition just to show you a game playing on here This is really not gameplay footage or anything like that um, That being said though, I'm glad PlayStation is doing this I want to see this build out more and be more robust and you, I'm just showing you everything with low time So it gives you you get the sense of how it actually functions and it flows pretty much the same way now of course this is a much lighter game to play but as we get into Rocket League here, you can see it's smooth. I mean, you get the same experience you get on your PlayStation 4. So um, that's pretty good. Um, really nice, uh, solid performance. Uh, your uh, PlayStation controller works exactly the same way. Uh, all the functionality is there. The one thing you notice while using the software is that um, there, there, are no, there are no extra features yet. So unlike how you have it with the Xbox, where on the uh, uh, the Xbox app um, on your PC, you have a little more features. You have game DVR, all those functionalities. You do have game DVR here. Um, you can actually play and share, um, but there are certain functionalities that are not fully, they're not working as of yet. So that's something uh, to take note. So we can go ahead and <clears throat> jump out of the game. The cool thing is when you jump out of the game, because um, your PlayStation is still running, you can sign in again at another time and continue from that same spot. So if I decide to, you know, go through, navigate here and do something else and then jump into my laptop here, which, by the way, I'm connected to via my Motorola um, um, Droid Turbo here. So it's not using my home connection. I'm actually connected to Droid Turbo. I have my controller connected. I can now jump back into Rocket League and uh, play Rocket League without any issues. You can see my PlayStation in the background there on the TV, uh, but I can jump to Rocket League and see, just, again, I'm back to that position where I was playing. Uh, and that was the goal that you guys just saw. So it, it works pretty well. It works well. It's pretty fluid, um, if, whether you're on your home network or your way. And I think this is the one-up they have over Microsoft, is the fact that you can play your PlayStation every anywhere now. So it doesn't matter whether you are um, at home or whether you're on the road, your PlayStation can get work anywhere. So that's actually pretty cool. Microsoft, you need to update because I mean, even though this is not as robust as yours, the fact that I can uh, travel, say, uh, to the West Coast and then play uh, is a great feature. So I like that with the uh, PlayStation Remote Play. Um, and yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. So if there's anything you're um, looking for in terms of questions, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, do subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the subscribe button, lower right-hand corner of the screen or in the description below. And always enjoy your entertainment.